hello guys welcome to my youtube channel today today i'll be sharing with you how to make this stripe or any kind of stripe to look like this if you use this method you can turn it any way you want to turn it so i'll be very simple in my illustration and very fast i'll make this very easy i had had this problem before now so after solving it i know the shortcuts to have this look great so welcome once again to audience fountains fashion with fashion tips and review please if you are new to this channel just hit the subscribe button very hard like and share if you find this video helpful turn on your notification if you wish we will update you each time we upload a new video right here we go these are my stripes have you seen the stripe lines are just laid straight like this i've already cut some designs from here so i'll be facing this right side to right side and i'll make sure the lines meet at the same point exactly where you want to cut that your design so just look i want to make this this way i'll cut these two pieces i have placed them like that vertically like that now I'll be cutting those two pieces at the same time making sure my designs my lines are in place like they are meeting each other at the same point just like it is there so any angle you want to slant it it will depends on how you want your design to look like so for this example i'm giving just look at have you seen just look at the v i'll be having there have you seen that is how to cut this thing here yeah look at how it looks like so let me show you something again if i want to increase the design look at what i will have there have you seen look at the shape there so just like what you saw there i will be giving you the brief if you add this type to this you have that cube or something like that of that nature so this one apart and i will bring the the design for the day how to join it becomes sometimes the most difficult that's why i'm emphasizing on this so have you seen just exactly what i did that's how i cut it have you seen the same way i placed that one so you have to pay close attention so that you don't miss out so have you seen how it is look at the shape we have there have you seen so if you don't want this shape there are so many multiple shapes like the one up here is gotten from that same method i used so whichever way you want it it's cool so what i'll be doing now after i'm done doing that is just to go straight to my main chain and uh, look at how it is i'll turn it like this look at watch carefully the lines are already laid like this the v shape and look at how they are supposed to meet you have to keep it like this and make sure they meet the cloth is already on st that's why it's not transparent that much so look at how it is the lines are supposed to meet each other like this have you seen they are supposed to give you that shape you have to turn it like this this is where the carefulness comes in so that they don't miss each other you have to place them equally and you have to be sure they are touching each other at the same point so i'll be guiding them just watch carefully have you seen make sure they lap like this you don't have to be in a haste mostly as a beginner even as a professional when it comes to this line if you really want them to meet at the same point you don't need to be in a haste so that's what i'll be doing there so if you wish to watch other of our tutorials on dresses different kind of cutting and stitching suits females trouser or we make unicep like things up here that are displayed just go to my playlist and check them they are very helpful 
to you i'll be displaying them here for your good for you to check out so after i'm done doing that look at the shape i have there the lines really meet have you seen no one escaped each other or thereabout so what i'll be doing now and i will be bringing the other one again and i will put it the same way have you seen the same way i'll put it and i will stitch it again so remember i said you have to be patient and um very careful when it comes to this you have to be very careful you sew it gently and make sure everything there meets at a good point we make good content here that are very 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 important and will help your fashion career if you wish we get you notified subscribe and uh, turn on your notification button like and share every of our video you find helpful it is very very encouraging if i see you do that i'll be very grateful we upload videos every day and if there's any question within or outside this lesson today just go to the comment section drop it peacefully there i will be right here to answer all your questions that are re related to fashion so and uh, make sure check my playlist videos that i i upload every day are content that are very very helpful that will boost your fashion career so i'll be going to the pressing table and uh, i will give it a nice press as i open it just this way i will press it very well and uh, make sure the thing really lies well now this is my pressing table and i'll show you something you have to place your iron and iron it very well very well and i mean well very very well so i'll be doing that and to the same side at the other part of this dress have you seen how the thing came out very well have you seen so from here now after i finish ironing it i'll be showing you in case you don't wish to use the same design i used i will place it another way around to give you another design like three different designs with the illustration i'll be giving here after pressing it so it doesn't really mean you must use a particular design you can interchange them however you wish to give you the result you want so that's what i'll be doing here after i'm done ironing it So now watch carefully what I will do. So have you seen? This is the way of the design I want to make. This is it. Have you seen? But you can still place it like this to give you an X shape like this. Have you seen it? Or you can keep it this way. this way now to give you that v and uh, w something like that have you seen so the thing if you use this one method or carefully doing it you will have so many great results so this is the way i choose for this design in this particular video so look at what i'll be doing i'll match these two points together like this these two points together and i'll make sure they really meet at the same point have you seen i'll arrange it very well you don't have to be in a haste when doing that i'll arrange it and i will put my needle there and i will confirm these other lines if they are meeting at the same point have you seen so i will sew Remember, I started from the midpoint. So, now after doing that, I will turn it to this other side again. Have you seen? I will put my needle at that point I sewed at the middle, that midpoint again. And I will stitch it just straight 
you must make sure you know how to stitch straight so that's one of the things that will make you have a good finish when you are done stitching it so i'm done stitching it just look at the result i got from this have you seen there's a little dot like in the middle there have you seen all the lines really meet at the same point have you seen how it is all the lines no one just pass each other so i'll be reducing the ss and after i'm done that i'll go to the iron table and press it and you will see the finished work so thank you for watching um if you haven't subscribed just like i have said you know i will always deliver eh? so just hit the subscribe button like and share this video thank you